Hello everyone. I welcome you all to my YouTube channel and you are watching AI with Ashok. This is going to our 10th tutorial in our NumPy playlist. So in this video we are going to see about log space function in NumPy. So let's get into this video and know more about it. So before we move on to log space function we need to import NumPy first. So we have imported NumPy now. Let's see the documentation of log space function and know more about log space function before we using this. So log space function will return the numbers spaced evenly on a log cell. Before we move on to examples of log space function, let's understand the functionality of log space function. So let's have an example here. Consider we have a base of 10 and then we have a start value of 2 and then end value of 3. So what it will return is 10 power 2 and then 10 power 3. It will return the range of values between 100 and 1000 so if we have the start value as 2 and then end value as 3 we want 5 equivalent values between 2 and 3 in log scale means it will return 5 equivalent space values between 10 and 100 so that is going to be the functionality of log space function in numpy so the parameters of log space function are start which is going to be our starting value of the sequence so starting you means if we put give start as 2 then our if we, our base is going to be 10 then it will be 10 power 2 100 going to be our starting value of the sequence <clears throat> if the stop is given as 3 then 10 power base is going to be our 10 and 10 power 3 is going to be 1000 so our stop value going to be 1000 is the final value of the sequence unless the end point is false if end point is given true it will consider the 1000 also if endpoint is false, it will not consider 1000 into the sequence. So num is going to be a integer. By default, it is going to be 50. So it will generate num samples between start and stop. If start is 2, then 10 power 2 is going to be 100. If stop is 3, then 10 power 3 is going to be 1000. So it will return 50 values between 100 and 1000 50 equal and equally spaced values between 100 and 1000 so that is going to be endpoint and num and base is going to be a float value by default it is go defaulted to base of 10 we can change this to base of 2 base of 4 base of 8 we can do also that <coughs> and we have the data type which is uh, going to be the return type of the numpy array and we have an axis also so as a result it will return as the number of sample num samples equally spaced on a log scale let's do it by an example in first example we are going to see about creating an array of five equally spaced values between two and three in log scale so we are going to give np dot log space of so our first start is going to be 2 and then end is going to be 3 and then our number of values we need is 5 so it will calculate 10 power 200 and 10 power 3000 and will return the 5 equally spaced values between 100 and 1000 so that is going to be our and because our base is going to be 10 by default so we will have 10 power 200 10 power 3000 and will return 5 equally spaced values between 100 and 1000 <coughs> so let's see here here we have both 100 and 1000 so because our end, we have end point is equal to 2 so since we have end point is equal to 2 it has included both 1000 also both 100 and 1000 if we have end point is equal to false then 1000 will be ignored so now 1000 is ignored but it we have the 5 equivalent equally spaced values between 100 and 1000 in between 2 and 3 in log space so in log space it we have 100 and 1000 so our next example in our next okay in our next example we are going to create an array of 5 equally spaced values between 2 and 3 in log scale with 3 exclusive which is which we have seen in this previous example this is going to have our answer here <coughs> so this is the answer now so here endpoint is true we have 100 and 1000 both inclusive 
so here we have 100 and 630 630 is going to be our last value and then our in our third example we have to create an array of five equally spaced values between 2 and 3 with base as 2 in log scale so in previous example we have base is equal to 10 and in this example we are going to change the base value to 2 so let's see here np dot log space of and our starting value is going to be 2 and our end value is going to be 3 so both is going to be inclusive so don't need to give endpoint is equal to false and we need 5 equally spaced values between 2 and 3 in log space and then we want the base is as 2 so base is going to be 2.0 since it is here we want a floating data type as the base value <coughs> so it will return what it will return is so our base is going to be 2 here so 2 power 2 4 and then 2 power 3 8 so it will return 5 equally spaced values between 4 and 8 so that is going to be our answer so we have 4 and 8 and we have 4 5 equally spaced values between 4 and 8 so that's about a log space function hope you like this video if you like this video please do like and share this video if you are new to my channel please do subscribe to my channel then only you will get the get my future videos notified in your device thank you thank you for watching